While this patient has symptoms consistent with unstable angina and cardiac enzymes and EKG findings consistent with non-ST elevation myocardial infarction, the patient also has significant anemia. In fact, the tachycardia and flow murmur on exam are secondary to anemia. Significant anemia can produce symptoms and signs consistent with cardiac ischemia due to decreased oxygen delivery to the myocardial tissue. Moreover, before starting treatment for ischemia, which involves anticoagulants, it is important to be mindful of contraindications to these therapies. Active bleeding can be worsened with anticoagulants and can actually cause further harm to a patient such as this one. The first step should be to evaluate sources of bleeding and also to correct the anemia with the appropriate transfusions. The patient's symptoms and EKG findings may even improve after transfusion once the oxygen carrying capacity of his blood has approached normal levels. Now let's go over the answer choices to find the best next step. Choice A. Emergent cardiac catheterization is incorrect. Catheterization and stenting, which also involves the use of anticoagulants, can be detrimental. Once a stent is implanted, antiplatelet therapy with aspirin and clopidogrel must be maintained, and if the patient develops worsening GI bleeding, then there is a significant problem in stopping the antiplatelet regimen. Stopping the antiplatelet therapy too soon after stent implantation can lead to stent thrombosis and even a myocardial infarction. Therefore, this patient should only be taken to catheterization once the bleeding has been identified and corrected and the patient is having persistent symptoms or signs of cardiac ischemia after the anemia has been treated. Choice B, intravenous nitroglycerin, heparin, and aspirin is incorrect because it does not treat the underlying cause of his ischemic symptoms, which is the anemia. In fact, heparin and aspirin may worsen the anemia. Choice C, pharmacologic stress test with nuclear imaging is incorrect. This patient needs evaluation and treatment of his anemia. Choice D, intravenous metoprolol is incorrect. While this patient is tachycardic, the tachycardia is a compensatory response likely due to the anemia and possible blood loss. Finally, choice E, stool guaiac testing is the correct answer. The patient should be evaluated and treated for the cause of his low blood count.